Tajik officials say this is the largest library in Central Asia. The building, which opened this spring, took five years to build. It's now slowly drawing readers to its massive halls, where the latest information technology is being put to use. Despite the modern facilities, the library is still largely empty. It has the capacity to hold 10 million books, but when it opened, it housed just a quarter of that. Its administrators have been asking Tajik citizens and schools to donate their books to help fill the shelves. Meanwhile, some say that the library is not fulfilling its original purpose as an educational facility. This electronic reading room, with 170 computers, is nearly always full. But for the young people who come here, it's closer to an Internet cafe than a place to study. <laughs> In order to fill up some of the library's empty halls, university professors and other educators have been leaning on their students to visit more often. Officials are reportedly concerned that without visitors, the library could become little more than another decorative wing of the Palace of Nations presidential compound. President Emomali Rahmon has backed a string of impressive construction projects in Dushanbe, including a flagpole lauded as the tallest in the world. But critics wonder whether the country can afford the construction boom and whether the National Library serves as just another high-profile vanity project.